Good evening, guys. Welcome. Thank you very much for joining. Gracias por unirse a la clase. Just give me one moment. Te voy a compartir pantalla. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Julio Cesar. Welcome. Eh, hey. You're welcome. Nada más, chicos, decir, pedirles una disculpa porque la cámara no me la acepta el... No me la acepta Zoom, no sé por qué. Te le voy a mostrar. Este... Te lo voy a mostrar qué me está pasando, pero primero voy a pasar lista. Eh, I'm going to pass the attendance first. Y aquí están ustedes, justo aquí. Eh, Ada Agar Burgos Magaña. Ada Agar Burgos Magaña. Brenda Isabel Castro Ruiz. Brenda Isabel Castro. Gracias. 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 Claudia Lisette Velázquez de Salgado. Claudia Lisette. Damari Saraí García Cerón. Daniel Alejandro Llanes Díaz. I'm here, teacher present. Thank you. Eliu Fernando Flores Díaz. Elsie Cristina Coreas de Ramírez. Present. Gracias. Flor Noemí Lima Cerribas. Present, teacher. Gracias. Francisco Antonio Calderón Rivera. Present, teacher. Gracias. Pa Francisco Ernesto Jiménez Rivera. Gabriel José Hernández López. Gisela Imperatriz Cañas Bonilla. Present. Gracias, Gisela. Héctor Iván Pérez Martínez. Presente, teacher. Gracias, Iván Ibrahim Ramírez Quijano. Presente, teacher. Good evening. Gracias, good evening, Iván. Eh, Julio César Campos Yara. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Carla Alicia Barrera Mena. Carla Elena López Rivas. Kevin Alexander Sánchez Ramos. Mario, no, perdón, María Dolores García de López. Present, teacher. Gracias, Rebeca María Rosales Romero. Present. Gracias, Wendy Paola López Martínez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Xiomara Violeta Salazar Iraeta. Present. Thank you, Jocelyn Elizabeth González Cartagena. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Ok, vamos entonces, chicos. Deme un momento, solo voy a abrir la presentación. ¿Alguien que se haya unido después de mencionar los nombres? ¿Nadie? Vaya, perfecto. Señor teacher, Claudia Salgado. Ah, thank you. Ahorita voy. Ahorita voy, permito. Ada Burgos. Gracias. Ahí está. Vaya, chicos. So yesterday we began talking about um, conditionals. And we were using the first conditional. Actually, we moved to this part, right, where we were able to identify the different options that we have. And in the conversation, this conversation, I don't know if you remember, right, if this woman is talking, Jody, and she wants to stop smoking or to give up smoking. But also she um, kind of gives excuses, right, uh, for not doing so. And here we have some of the examples, right? If I quit smoking, I might gain weight. If I gain weight, I won't be able to fit into my clothes. If my clothes don't fit, I'll have to buy new ones. And if you get a part-time job, you may be able to save some money. Okay, so uh, these are the, the four different uh, options that we have. We can use it with might, talking about possibility in the future. You can use it with be able to, 
right? Que también es, que es el mismo can, pero en futuro, ¿verdad? Eh, que este caso, en este caso sería won't, presente, sí, perdón, futuro simple con won't, también futuro simple con will, I'll have to buy new clothes. Y también lo podemos usar con may, which is possibility. You may be able to save some money, right? Entonces, ¿qué sucede con el first conditional? El first conditional prácticamente usa esas dos, ¿verdad? Esas dos formas que en este caso sería, pues, eh, digamos, presente en, en una de las cláusulas y, y este futuro en la siguiente o una probabilidad, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando yo, when I use the first conditional, right, I'm talking about a, a result or in a condition, right, and the consequence, okay, so that's, that's how it works, so what I'm going to do right now is to give you an exercise, solo de mi momento, lo voy a poner aquí, okay, uh, this is the one that we did yesterday, lo que hicimos ayer, creo que les pedí, verdad, que trajeran ustedes sus oraciones, se recuerdan, do you bring yours? ¿Trajeron los ejemplos? ¿O no los trajeron? Yes, teacher. Yes, 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 yes teacher. Sí. Excellent. Entonces, let's begin. So, you can raise your hand and you can read your, uh, your examples, your exercises. Mm -hmm. Nobody? Ah, uh, Gisela. No sé si también va, pero. Okay, let's see. If you if you drink uh, if you drink a lot of coffee, you won't sleep at night. Mm -hmm, muy bien, correcto. If you don't sleep at night, you study more. If you don't sleep at night, you will study more. Okay, you will or you will study more. Muy bien. If you drink coffee, you'll be awake long, longer? Longer. Mm -hmm. Longer. Mm -hmm. If you spend more time awake, you might be more productive. You might be more productive. Okay, very good. Excellent, Gisela. Very good examples, okay? All of them are correct. Uh, anyone else? Uh, Carla, Alicia, dígame. I have to answer. Mm -hmm. to, to... If you don't stretch or take time off to relax, you may be very stressed and tired. Mm -hmm. Correct. If you don't eat on time, You might have gastrointestinal deficit in a short time. I'm sorry, if you don't eat on time, después que sigue? You might have gastrointestinal deficit ah, in a disease. short uh -huh. time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, correct. That's true. And, and that is very true. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Thank you, Carla. Who's next? Eh, María Dolores. Yo. If I win the lottery, I will travel the world and buy a big mansion. With <laughs> Excellent. Okay. What else? Only that one? Solo esa? Bye. Perfect. Eh, Xiomara, what about you? Thank you, María Dolores. Uh, <clears throat> if I don't do the homework, I won't learn. If I am not going to work tomorrow, my boss will get angry with me. Mm -hmm. If I ate too much at if I ate too much, I will get weight. And if I sleep early tonight, I will be able to wake very refreshed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Solo la penúltima. Can you read it one more time? If I sleep early tonight, I will be able to wake very refreshed. No, la penúltima, the oh. one before that one. Uh -huh. 
if I ate, if I eat, I'm sorry, uh -huh, if I uh -huh. eat too much, I will get weight. Uh -huh. I will gain. It's gain. G-A-I-N. Gain. Gain. Mm -hmm. gain weight. Very good. Excellent. Uh, thank you, Simara. What about you, Julio Cesar? If if I go if I go to Canada next vacation, I will visit many cities. Okay, if I go, I will visit. Correct. Uh, if I improve my English conversation, I might apply for a, a part time job. Mm -hmm. Just to teacher. Just two of them. Okay, very good, guys. Anyone else that would like to give it a try? Uh, let's see, Hector, Ivan. Okay, teacher. Good, good evening. Good evening. If you if you don't go to work, your boss may discount money. Uh huh. So true. Uh, if correct. You, if you boss discount money, you won't be able to buy something. Mm hmm. If you don't buy something, you will be in problem. <laughs> Correct. Very good sequence, Sector Ivan. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Uh, Ivan? Tell me, Ivan. Okay. Okay. If I lost my car in the city again, my father will be angry with me. If I lose, but if I lose. If I lose. Mm -hmm. See, if I lose. Sorry, sorry. I made a mistake. Correct. If I lose. Okay. And I was it, late for. Oh, go ahead. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I was about to ask you if you had more sentences. Uh -huh. Okay. I was late for my job again. They deducted from my salary. Repeat it one more time. If I. If I was if I was late for my job again. If I am. They, Porque es presente simple en la de en la okay. cláusula del if. If I am late again. If I am late. If I am late for my job again. Uh -huh. They deducted for my salary. They might yep. deduct or they will they will deduct from my salary. Porque una parte lleva presente simple y la segunda lleva futuro simple. Okay. O puede llevar might o puede llevar made. But let's go ahead and practice a little bit with future simple. Vamos a practicar un poquito con futuro simple. Please go to the chat. Go to the chat. Ah, vaya Francisco, está bien. De acuerdo. Go to the chat and please go to that website. Ahí hay un sitio web donde hay un ejercicio en el que va a practicar first conditional, ¿ok? Go to that website, ¿verdad? Vaya hacia ese website y va a realizar el ejercicio. Go there. What you have to do is to pick the correct answer. Ahorita solo estamos identificando las cláusulas, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde es que va el presente simple y a dónde es que va el futuro? ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, go and work with that exercise. And I'm going to give you, let's see how long, ¿cuánto le vamos a dar? Four minutes. Okay, I'll give you, no, five minutes for you to complete it. Okay, cinco minutos. Y me mandan los screenshots, pero aquí al chat de Zoom, no al de WhatsApp, ¿ok? No a WhatsApp, sino al chat de Zoom.
when you finish, send me the results, okay? Recordemos que son dos cláusulas, ¿verdad? Y que una de ellas lleva, mire, present simple, ¿verdad? En la primera, en la parte de if, que es la possible situation, it contains present tense. But in the consequence, okay, we can find future will, made or might, okay, any of those. Okay, time's up. Ahí tenemos los results. Vamos a ver quién los mandó ya. Ah, muy bien, Carla. Excelente. Very good. Okay, what about the rest? ¿Y los demás, chicos? Send it there. Mándelo ahí. ¿Quién me falta? Ahí está el de Brenda también, ¿ok? Thank you, Brenda. Wells, ¿quién más? Sorry, teacher, I don't do that. You didn't. <laughs> I tried to, I didn't that, but I tried to write in, in a portion, uh, in, a, um, in a word, uh -huh. and I wrote that, <laughs> sorry. No, don't worry, it's okay, you can complete it later, okay, but for the rest of you guys, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you did, ah, oh, well, floors, it's there, solo tiene que dar clic a terminado, Flor. Dele clic en terminado y ahí le va a preguntar qué quiere hacer y le da clic a ver mi score para que le diga cuánto se sacó. ¿Verdad? Solo dele clic a terminado. Ok, guys, so good job. I mean, I don't know if all of you were able to do it because sometimes it happens that we have a connectivity problems. If you have connectivity problems, it won't allow you to go ahead and, and, and do it, right? Entonces, as you can see, we have to be careful with the two clauses, porque son dos cláusulas. Entonces, ahí es donde hay que tener cuidado cuando uso present y cuando uso future or models, ¿verdad? Because eh, those are the ones that we need for these uh, type of uh, sentences, okay? Then, right, we have a, a word power section, okay? Word power section. So, in this section, it is asking you to do the following. It says, can you find two consequences for each possible event? So we have the possible event, buy a large dog, fall in love, go on a diet, inherit a lot of money, move to a foreign country and quit smoking. So you have a list over here, okay? Now let's go ahead and classify this list of consequences and look for two for each category, for each possible event. Van dos por cada evento posible, ¿verdad? 
two for buy a large dog, two for falling in love, two for going on a diet, etc. Gracias, chicos. I am sorry, Flor. <laughs> Vaya, ni modo, no se preocupe, si no, hágalo después. Eh, y, y... ¿Mm? Excuse me. Sí. Uh, I, I just finished the, the exercise, but it, but it asked me, asking me for a, uh, for your email. No, or... no, you have to click on the other one. Le tiene que dar click al otro, el que solo dice chequear mis respuestas. Okay. Ajá, uh -huh. and then it, ahí se lo muestra. Lo más le da click, ahí le va a mostrar el, el, el score. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't worry, Flor, you can do it later, ¿verdad? Pero para el resto, pues, yes. Good, ¿verdad? You have to click on terminado para que le muestre la, la nota. Ok, guys, so let's go ahead and classify the consequences. Lo vamos a clasificar y luego vamos a armar las oraciones, ¿ok? So I'm going to give you four minutes for you to classify them in here, ¿ok? And your four minutes begin right now. Comenzamos ahora. Write them down. Thank you, Hector. Varios, este, I couldn't get, get on teacher. Ah, igual, copien el link. Pueden copiarlo y lo pueden hacer después también, no hay problema. Sí, teacher, yo no pude entrar, no me dejó aquí entrar. Uh -huh. al, al sí, es cuando no, cuando da este, cuando hay eh, restricción en el internet. Thank you, Julio Cesar. Thank you, Francisco Antonio.
Ah, no, no, don't worry, Flor no, it's okay. No se preocupe. Thanks for letting me know. Don't worry. Bye, chicos. All sleep night, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's go ahead and check the classification. So here we have by a large dog. Okay, by a large dog. So what are the ones that you would put in that category? By a large dog. ¿Cuáles pusieron ahí, chicos? Sí, Hector. If you buy a large dog, mm -hmm. you will have feel angry a lot of, a lot of it. No, pero comencemos primero clasificando las oraciones. Todas mm -hmm. las consecuencias. ¿Cuáles son las dos consecuencias que tenemos acá? Eh, Xiomara. For the possible events, mm -hmm. uh, if you buy a large dog, you will feel safer in your home. Okay, if you buy, vaya, pero las, las, horas, perdón, las frases son feel safer in your home, ¿verdad? Aquí mm -hmm. va feel safer in your home, muy bien. Another one. Consequence. Okay, the second one. If you fall, if you fell in love, You... Oh, per perdón, Simara, por interrumpirle. Oh. Es que ah, la, la, la actividad se trata de clasificar ahorita las consecuencias, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál sería uh -huh. la segunda que tenemos en la categoría de buy a large dog? Creo que sería uh -huh. you have to take it out for walks, ¿verdad? Eh, you, yes. uh -huh. quiero ver, permítanme. Ah, verdad, nos quedaría, you have to take it out for walks, ok. Luego en la yes. siguiente categoría tenemos fall in love, verdad. Fall in love. ¿Cuáles son las dos posibles consecuencias? Um, feel yellow sometimes. Ok, verdad. Feel jealous sometimes. Lose touch with old friends. Mm -hmm. Eh, Luz, ¿verdad? Luz, touch with all friends. Muy bien. Now, la siguiente categoría que tenemos es go on a diet. Okay, what are the possible consequences, Carla? Feel better about yourself. Feel better about yourself, okay. And gain weight with Okay, feel better about yourself and gain weight. Gain weight, ganar peso si me voy a dieta. Ah, tal vez esta, miren. Eh, more... Rebeca. Feel hungry and more energetic. Feel more energetic, dicen por ahí. Feel more energetic. Eh... Sí, podríamos incluirla acá, solo que creo que la segunda es eh, have to give up. Have to give up your favorite snack. ¿Verdad? Porque es lo primero que tenemos que hacer cuando nos vamos a dieta. Your favorite snack. Tenemos que decirle no a nuestros snacks favoritos, ¿verdad? Give up es, es este, dejar, ¿verdad? Algo. You have to give up your favorite snacks or snack, ¿verdad? Entonces, that would be uh, one consequence. Y también es cierto. De hecho, when you go on a diet, you feel more energetic. Energetic. 
Ajá. Da la coincidencia que también podríamos ponerla acá, ¿verdad? What about the next one? La siguiente es eh, inherit a lot of money. Inherit a lot of money. Oops. A lot, a lot of money. Dígame, Julio César. Uh, get get a request uh, for loans from friends. Uh -huh. Get requests for loans from friends. ¿Verdad? Prestame, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. From friends. Uh -huh. Muy bien. What, what will be the second one? Eh, Francisco. Maybe be able to buy expensive clothes. Ah, ok, muy bien. Uy, perdón, creo que moví la, las camaritas. Eh, me dijo be able to buy expensive clothes. Ajá. Be able to buy expensive clothes. Very good. Mm -hmm. And the next category is move to a foreign country. Move, move to a foreign, foreign country. So what would be the an option here? Carla. Oh, porque tengo varias levantadas, levantadas las manos. Voy a ir por la primera. Carla, dígame. Oh, Francisco Antonio. Francisco Antonio. Have oh. to learn a new language. Eh, have to learn a new language. Muy bien, Daniel. I seen the same uh, sentence. Okay, eh, Francisco. Thank you, Daniel. Francisco no se le escucha. Solo tiene levantada la mano, pero no le escuchamos. Eh, Alguien más? Sorry, teacher. Que sí lost touch with old friends. Eh, lose touch with old friends. Creo que ya la usamos. La usamos en el fall in love. Ahorita estamos en move to a foreign country. You have to learn a new language. Pero también, fíjense. I think it, it also uh, applies. Porque it happens if you move to a foreign country. You lose touch. Touch, I'm sorry, with old friends. Uh huh. Lose touch with old friends. Yes. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, ¿verdad? Y la última que tenemos acá es quit smoking, ¿verdad? Quit smoking. Dejar el cigarrillo. Quit eh, smoking. So ahí está, acabar. Quit smoking. Dígame, Julio César. Uh, gateway. Gain weight, uh huh. Uh, feel better about your uh feel about yourself. Better about yourself. Mm -hmm. Muy bien, excelente. Okay, now that we have the classification, we are going to make up our sentences. Hoy sí vamos a hacer las 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 oraciones, verdad? Eh, que se apoya. Dividirlo acá para que visiblemente no se vea muy pegadito todo. Bye. Y se lo voy a compartir. Ay, ah, como no pensé que no tenía WhatsApp abierto. Pre no, este es intermedio. Okay, very good. Ahora vámonos a armar las sentences, ok? Entonces tenemos la primera. Buy a large dog, ok? Entonces dijimos, if, if you buy, presente simple, ¿verdad? If you buy a large dog, comma, you'll feel safer in your home, ok? Now, siguiente, if you have to, I mean, if you buy a large dog, okay, 
you have to take it out for walks, okay? What about this one? If you fall in love, ¿cómo nos quedaría ahí? If you fall in love, comma, you'll feel jealous sometimes, ¿verdad? Entonces, si usted se fija, cuando yo uso al principio, ¿verdad? La cláusula if, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí necesito una coma, ¿verdad? If, oops, perdón. If you fall in love, you'll lose touch with all friends, ¿verdad? Now, if you go on a diet, what is going to happen, ¿verdad? If you go on a diet, you'll... I'm sorry. You'll feel better about yourself, right? What else? Well, if you go on a diet, you'll have to give up your favorite snack. If you go on a diet, you'll feel more energetic, right? Now in this one, if you inherit a lot of money, you'll, oh, perdón, you'll get requests for loans from friends, okay? Also, right, if you inherit a lot of money, you will be able to buy expensive clothes, right? If you move, if you move to another country, comma, you'll have to learn a new language. Que es algo que la mayoría no hace y es necesario, ¿verdad? You'll have to, you'll have, or you lose touch with all friends too, right? Now, if you quit smoking, right, you'll gain weight, right? Now, if you quit smoking, also, you'll feel better about yourself. You'll feel better about yourself. Questions, guys? Preguntas sobre este, sobre este ejercicio? O preguntas sobre la plataforma, chicos. Questions? Is it clear? I have a question, teacher, but yeah. it's, it's uh, related with the exercise the last time I, I, I couldn't do. Uh, about the sentence without the the word problems in the platform, but Ivan, I think uh, helped me uh, putting the the word without the s. Mm -hmm. I don't know because uh, I didn't know that because uh, I it was supposed not to change uh, the. The, the the words and the platform. Mm -hmm. I I creo, want creo, to know. Creo que es un error, Xiomara. Uh, uh -huh, I think it's a mistake. But let me check. Is it four point eleven? ¿Qué número es? Do you remember? Mm. Uh, let me see. No, it's not this one. And in which section? I'm sorry. The Section five, section, section five. five. Yes. Let me see. Can you tell me, uh, Ivan, the number of the exercise? I think it's a uh, five point five point four. Five point two. No, 5.2 es un, es un objetivo. Ajá, tal vez si me dicen cuál es, perdón. Ahorita lo estoy buscando. Es ese, teacher. Ese es. Sí. Vaya. Sí, ese es. Lo voy a duplicar, permítame. Permítame. Ay, no, no sé qué es.
Creo que lo... Lo perdí. Sí, lo... lo a saber dónde lo puse. Está aquí. Aquí está. 5.4, ¿verdad? 5.4. Ahí está. Vaya, y en, en ese, la respuesta es en la número, me dijo. Tres. Sí, este es un error. Ahí tiene que ser en plural. Uh -huh. I am good at solving. I am good at solving other people's problems. Uh -huh. Quizás la grabaron mal, o sea, la guardaron mal la respuesta en el, en el, en la plataforma. Pero sí es, es, eh, es problems. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It can Pero take no, no. it like a, a, a whole uh, problem, like a um, subject, I don't know. Uh, it could be that form. No, 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 es un error. It's just a mistake. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y, 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 and we're going to report it. Lo vamos a reportar, pero sí, ahí tiene que decir problems. Uh -huh. Porque entonces está diciendo, eh, I am good at, at solving other people's problems. So, él no tiene, no tiene como sentido, a menos que estén hablando de algo que ya, se, ya ha sido mencionado, ¿verdad? Entonces, it has to be in plural. Tiene que estar en plural. Uh -huh. Sí, I'm sorry, Xiomara, que ahí este lo intentó varias veces, pero sí está. I, I stay all the afternoon doing that exercise. <laughs> que lo and siento. Say, and thank you. Uh, oh, thanks to Ivan for helping. Yes, thank I don't know you, how, how he discovered it. <laughs> sí, tratando, de, pura tratando. Casualidad, de pura casualidad lo descubrí, le voy a quitar la S para no hacerlo por un rally y medio que se ve el punto que va. Ay, Dios mío, que está raro esto. Mm -hmm. Pero es que todos teníamos eso. Pero ahí estamos. Yeah. yeah, thank you guys for helping each other, but yes, actually it should be problems. No, eh, no, tiene, no, no, no tiene que ser este en singular, tiene que ser en plural. Ajá. Eh, Julio César tenía pregunta, perdón. No. Oh, sorry, teacher. No, I, I don't have questions. Ah, okay. Very good. Thank you so much. I, I Fran a, Francisco. A, 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 a. Dígame, Francisco. Con las oraciones que se formularon anteriormente, teacher. Ajá. In the second sentence, the uh, by a large dog. Mm -hmm. Ah, que uh, falta el libro. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Only that. Only that. Thank you so much. Anyone else? Questions? No? Okay, so first conditionals, as I was saying before, guys. Uh, it I mean it's very it's very easy. All what you have to do is to remember, right? The um the the structure. So right now I want everybody to go to the chat and I want you to type. Necesito que pong in, incluya tres. I want you to include three examples. No de los que ya hemos visto, sino que crea unos nuevos, okay? I want you to type three examples and we're going to check them together. Lo vamos a, a, a revisar todos juntos, okay? Así de que go to the chat, everyone, and prepare three examples. Tres ejemplos, okay? Go to the chat, please. Three examples.
Sure. Mm -hmm. Can you check my sentence, please? But no la veo en el chat. Ah, ahí está. If you practice soccer every day, you'll be a professional soccer player. Ajá, uh -huh. y la otra? Bueno, son tres. How many do you oh, have? Okay, uh, I write only one. Ah, okay, sí, you have to type the three of them. Y aquí la voy a ir revisando yo. Uh -huh. Pero okay, eso está okay. bien, solo if you practice soccer every day, you'll be a professional C player or soccer player. Está bien así. It's okay. okay. Veamos. Acá flor if I study more, I will get better, ah, a better score in my final grade, ¿verdad? I will get a better score in my final grade. Nota. If I get a job, I will have money to buy clothes. If I eat less, I will lose weight. Ajá, muy bien. Eh, luego tenemos a Xiomara. If I don't take my medicine, I will be sicker, okay, or I will get sick, también, verdad? If I don't save money, I won't be able to buy a car. If I go to the supermarket this weekend, I will have my food ready for the week. Ajá, muy bien. Luego tenemos a Julio Cesar. If you buy a house out of, out of, out of the city, out of the city, ay, que se me hizo, pero. If you buy a house out of the city, you'll have to wake up early to go to work. Uh -huh. If you hike the mountain, you'll see an, ahí falta una N, Daniel, an amazing view. Uh -huh. eh, Francisco dice, if I eat healthy, I may feel great. If I save money, I may buy a new car. If I'm okay with myself, I may help others. Muy bien, excelente. Dice Carla Alicia, if I complete all the exercises in English, I will go to, I will be promoted. Ahí sería. That's true. Will, huh? That's true. Uh -huh. <laughs> I will see, Cabal, I will be promoted. But I voy a ser este, promovida al siguiente módulo. I will be promoted to the next level, right? Um, if I don't take care of my health, I won't be able to study properly. If I get up early, I will do more activities in the day or during the day, ¿verdad? Dice Daniel, if you hike the mountains, you'll see an amazing view. Mm -hmm. What about the rest? ¿Y los demás, chicos? Muy bien. Están muy bien las oraciones que están construyendo. Me parece excelente. What about the rest? ¿Y los demás? If you win the championship, creo que va con ese al final, Iván. Championship, you will be the top player. Y player va solo con A, ¿verdad? Player. Muy bien. If he forgets. Quiero ver. If he forgets. No. If he forget him house. No. If he forgets. Ahí falta una S porque es presente simple, ¿verdad? If he forgets his. House key, he won't be able to get into the house. Esa sí la vamos a corregir, vea. Veamos. Aquí sería, if he forgets, falta aquí una S. Y aquí este no es un possessive, un, no es un object pronoun, sino que es un possessive adjective. If he forgets his house key, he won't be able to get into, get into the house. Ahí sí, ¿verdad? Luego tengo acá, 
Brenda, if I swim in the pool every day, I'll be a good swimmer. If I eat healthy every day, I'll live longer. If I run every day, I'll have more energy. Muy bien, Brenda Isabel, excelente. Gisela dice, if I eat healthy, I will be stronger. If I clean my room, I will be more, I mean, happier. Ahí no puedo decir more happy, porque es un comparativo y tengo que aplicar una regla. Y digo, eh, if I clean my room, I will be happier. If I wake, if I walk every day, I will be, I will be healthier. Más saludable, ¿verdad? Hay que agregar nada más esos adjetivos comparativos, Gisela. Iván dice, if you get home first, you will wait for me with dinner, bye, man. Eh, Daniel dice, if your car, no, if you repair the car, you'll get, ahí no puedo decir you'll can. Re recordemos que can en el futuro es, you will be able to drive in all country. You will be able to. Be able to is can en futuro. Um, if I study every day, I'll be better, this Elsie. If she forbid, for, forbid some, forbids him smoking, he will gain weight. Mm -hmm. If I get sick, you will, you will give me cough medicine. If I study a lot, I will pass the exam. If you mixed red and blue, you get purple. If I won the lottery, I would buy a house. If I were 20, I would travel a road. Esto, Rebeca, este es el siguiente condicional. No es el primero, es, es otro condicional. Porque si usted se fija en una cláusula, la primera sí. If you mix red and blue, you get purple. Esa sí es primer condicional. Pero las otras dos son condicional 3. Porque ya ahí tenemos eh, pasado en una de las cláusulas, ¿verdad? Y en la otra tenemos would. Por eso es que ese es el condicional 3. No aplicaría en este caso, ¿verdad? Dice Daniel, if you repair the car, sin el de. If you repair, ah, pero es que está hablando de su carro, ¿verdad? Ajá. If you repair your car, you'll be able to drive. To drive throughout the country. Así ve. You will be, you will be able, ajá. Uh -huh. You will be able to drive throughout, ¿verdad? Through, throughout the country. You will be able to drive throughout the country. Okay. Dice, you're welcome. If, if I try my best, I will be able to reach my goals. Muy bien. If you buy a house out of the city, You'll have to wake up early to go to work. Uh -huh. If I take my medicine every day, I will be healthier. If I take healthier food, I'll lose weight. Mm -hmm. Dice Héctor Iván, if the dog doesn't run. No puedo usar don't, ¿verdad? Ahí porque es eat y no aplica don't. Y tampoco running porque necesito presente simple. If the dog doesn't run, It might be angry or it might get angry, ¿verdad? Gisela dice, if I eat healthier, si como más saludable, ahí sería healthier, ¿verdad? Healthier. If I eat healthier, I will be stronger. If I clean my room, I will be happier. If I walk every day, I will be healthier. Muy bien, solo el primero. If I eat, ah, sí, sí puede decir quizás eso también. If I eat healthy. Sí, está bien. Si he estado comiendo saludable estos días, ok. I agree. Anyone else? ¿Quién me falta? Nobody else? Ok, pero sí, chicos. Me, me gusta. Han tomado muy, muy bien la idea. Then the last part, ¿verdad? La última parte ya de lo que es este, la plataforma, en lo que es la sección... Eh, cuatro, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver acá. Section four. Eh, there is a reading, ¿verdad? Después de todo lo del, eh, lo de first conditional, there's a reading here. Are you in love, right? So you have to read it and then you have to complete the exercises, right? And I'm not pretty sure if it contains the audio. No sé si contiene el audio, but if it does, So all what you have to do is to read and 
eh, check the answers, ¿verdad? Chequear respuestas. Quiero ver si trae el audio este. After what you have after what you have read, after what you have read, can you tell us after what you have read? Sorry guys. Can you tell us which one is more difficult for you? Falling in love or staying in love? Share your opinion on our discussion box. No, miren, no trae. Bueno, but what you have to do is to read it. And the idea was to leave a discussion forum here. But these are not, esos no son, no llevan un score, ¿verdad? Aquí no está, no llevan score. Entonces, don't worry if you, if you were unable to complete it, but read the information, lea la información, okay? So, guys, I'm going to stop here because of the time. Right, but uh, remember next week we are going to begin with section number five and the final exam, ¿verdad? Voy a pasar lista para los que no me contestaron en la primera toma de asistencia, ¿verdad? Tenemos aquí a Damaris Saraí García Cerón. Present. Thank I you. I never listen. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I'm sorry. Uh, quizás porque eh, entra quizás después que he mencionado su nombre, no sé, probablemente. Cabal cuando, cabal cuando entro ya como por el siguiente. <risa> ya, yeah, but don't worry. Aquí le ponemos la asistencia. No importa si es antes o después, ¿verdad? Eh, Eliu Fernando Flores Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Luego tengo acá a Francisco Ernesto Jiménez Rivera. Luego tengo a Gabriel José Hernández López. Present teacher. Gracias, Gabriel. Luego tengo a Carla Alicia Barrera Mena. Teacher. Thank you. Tengo aquí a Kevin Alexander Sánchez Ramos. Kevin Alexander. Eh, también tengo a Carla Elena López Rivas. Present teacher. Gracias. Pues ahí creo que están todos. Vaya, chicos. Uh, so this is going to be everything for today. We completed section three and we're going to begin next week. Vamos allá a comenzar. Dice Iván. Uh... Ah, vaya, está bien, Iván. No se preocupe. Mis dedos son muy grandes. Y ahí en, en, en esta, tengo una maquinita pequeña que no me deja. Escribir. Ah, ok. I'm sorry. Sí, no se preocupe. Uh... Vaya, entonces nos veríamos chicos el lunes, ¿verdad? Para comenzar la última semana, cuatro clases más y van a finalizar su módulo de intermedia. Así que, guys, thank you very much for joining today and I'll see you on Monday, ¿ok? Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 B